there's that phrase a lot of people use that love makes the world go around. Well, it sure helps to go around in the world if you have love. But what truly brought me to Christ was not all the evidence. It was when I saw men and women who loved each other and they loved me and they were Christians. That caused me to consider their message. You know, Paul talks about that so often that how we live reflects the truth of our message. In 1 Corinthians 13, I want to paraphrase what Paul said there. He said, if I could speak in any language in heaven or on earth, but didn't love others, I would only be making meaningless noise like a loud gong or a clanging cymbal. But then he said, if I could speak truth to my child, and this is how my paraphrase, if I could speak truth to my child, but did not have love, then to my child, I am only making meaningless noise like a loud gong or a clanging cymbal. Does the Christian church show unconditional love for the lost? You want to see what some folks' opinion on it? Pastors, 76% of Christian pastors say the church demonstrates unconditional love to the lost. Of born-again Christians, 47% says the church does that. Of Christian churchgoers, 40, only 41% says the church unconditionally loves others. But do you know what those outside the church think? Less than 20% of non-believers think the body of Christ, the church, unconditionally loves them. It is so true. The way that people perceive us can often be the greatest barrier to them ever trusting Christ. But where we need to be careful is that their perception is not true, <laughs> that, that in reality we truly do love them. And if that is true, God the Holy Spirit will bear a conviction in that person's life to consider Jesus as Savior and Lord. I trust that your language to others doesn't sound like a loud gong or a discordant noise, but rather it's a reflection of what they see in your life in your relationship with them.